<clears throat> Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live on our Patreon channel. Aliens may already live on Earth, Harvard researcher say. Harvard researchers, I should say plural, say that. This is actually on Newsweek. Can you believe it? Newsweek. Um, you know, at any rate there, let me just go into the article here. The video there is just uh, where they're talking there, uh, just giving some of the disclosure they're talking about there in the government. <clears throat> A study by Harvard social science researchers suggests that aliens may have been living on Earth for a while. The researcher paper, which is yet to be peer-reviewed, suggests that life forms from other worlds could be living underground on Earth or within the moon. <laughs> You, you know what gets me is how long have I been saying this, right? Uh, I've told you guys about the secret bases on the moon, and we're talking about bases that have been there for thousands of years. Underground bases. In fact, that's one of the very places where some of the elite here on the Earth are going to take refuge when this Planet X comes rolling through the neighborhood and is causing so much havoc on the Earth, which, by the way, one of the things that I've always been told about uh, that uh, we see happening right now is the weather events, strange weather events, the increase of, of storm activity, the increase, of, and when I say storm activity, I'm talking about, like I was told, inline storms with over 100 mile per hour winds. Now, when I first said that, what was that, three years ago, I think I first brought that out, you know, people thought I was blooming nuts for saying that inline winds now inline means in other words a storm coming across the united states it's not a hurricane spinning in circles i realize like up in michigan and stuff you know during the uh certain times of the year they get up to 70 75 mile an hour winds straight line winds they're used to that that's kind of common but when you're talking about over <clears throat> 100 miles an hour you know, category two or three hurricane force winds uh, coming through town on a more frequently basis, that's just totally unheard of in the United States. Well, sure enough, after I did that report, it wasn't long that across the uh, Northwest there, uh, we had storms roll in that had over, I think it was 110 mile per hour inline winds, you know, but everybody kind of played that down. You know, oh, it's just a fluke. And then before long, another one happened. Well, then it kind of died down for a little bit. But this year, inline winds, 100 miles an hour or better, has become almost the norm. Even when I was down in um, uh, Florida, uh, down there recently, northwest Florida there, we were having inline winds there over 100 miles an hour while I was sleeping mainly just north. I w I'm down in Milton area, which is right by Pensacola, Florida, but they were having inline winds just north of me up in the area of around uh, Jay, Florida, uh, when the storms rolled in, that as I was leaving to come back to Tennessee, the power lines, one after another, after another, after another, were just snapped in half. And I'm like, bewildered by the sight. At first, I thought a tornado must have, you know, during, I knew we had some storms that night. In fact, when I would got up, I had gutters laying all over the yard and stuff. And I'm even thinking to myself, I don't remember a storm happening last night. I, did I sleep through a storm? You know, of course, I'm used to storms down there. You know, you live on the Gulf Coast. There's a lot of storms, right? But I'm thinking, wow, that must have been some pretty good winds there to blow the gutters off of my house. And so, you know, didn't think about it. And then I had a lot of siding blown off as well. I'm like, well, this is kind of wild, right? So then I'm headed out later that morning, headed back home to Tennessee, driving up this highway there. And for miles, I began, you know, probably after about a mile, and I got into the second, third mile, and still seeing telephone poles snapped everywhere, then I began to realize, wait a minute. There's no way a tornado could have just ran 15 miles up a highway here and snapped every telephone pole along the way. I mean, that's a pretty intelligent tornado to be able to do that, right? So then I started thinking, 
wow, we must have had inline storm come through here. Well, sure enough, I did find an article in the paper online later, Pensacola News Journal, reporting over 100 mile an hour inline winds. And they were showing pictures of the telephone pole snapped in half. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And of course, you know, it was several, you know, I'd seen some other ones through the Midwest and stuff like that that were happening that were causing devastation. And we're talking about tornadoes, massive sized tornadoes like I've never seen before, you know, and, and seeing these on the news very frequently. And, and of course, all these, I bring this up, why? Because this is what Planet X is going to, to be all about. It brings about all these phenomenals in weather. Then you have the volcanoes. Uh, you have, uh, you know, earthquakes. I was even told that earthquakes will become a norm to be 8.0 and higher. Now, we haven't seen that quite as of yet, but I was told it's coming. Temperatures. Right now, we're seeing record-breaking temperatures in both directions cold and hot. I've been told too that you'll see the reversals like where it should be hot it's going to be cold and where it should be cold it's going to be hot. And We've already been seeing those type things happening. What about the snowstorm that hit, uh, uh, not snowstorm but it was a hail storm that hit uh, Saudi Arabia that blanketed the earth and made it look like it was covered in snow. You know so then of course the same uh, intelligence guy sitting there sharing with me about you know the aliens that live in the earth we've been working with aliens for years and years uh they do live underground they do live in the earth the same guy tells me about the bases on the moon things like that and now i'm reading here on no other let no less than newsweek.com uh in the article alien life extraterrestrial living uh us search words there but anyway let me continue on though the research paper which is yet to be peer-reviewed suggests that life from okay right we read that um, on other worlds could be living underground on earth or within the moon and the ufos and other unidentified anomalous phenomena may be evidence of them getting around the study suggests an unconventional explanation of uap with authors of the paper hailing from harvard university human flourishing program which researchers uh, researches the factors that contribute to human well-being and flourishing uh, the paper has been taken down from the research gate uh, since Newsweek published this article, but it's still accessible using Internet Archive. Uh, UAP and any objects uh, or phenomena that cannot be immediately identified or explained by known human-made or natural sources, the authors point out that the A in UAP represents anomalous uh, in their study rather than aerial as is commonly the case because some UAP are not only airborne but may be uh, excuse me but uh, lost my spot there because UAP are not only airborne but may travel underwater UAP have been reported in various forms including spheres discs triangles and other shapes ranging in size from small orbs to large craft Many exhibit flight patterns and maneuvers that defy conventional aerodynamics such as uh, sudden changes in direction, high speeds, and the ability to hover without uh, apparent propulsion system. Uh, so, <clears throat> let's see. Last summer, 36-year-old Air Force veteran David Grush caused a media storm from uh, after he said that a top-secret U.S. military program had found the wreckage of several fully intact, unidentified aero aircraft, some of which contained dead non-human pilots. Um, a 2023 report from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence found that uh, there were uh, 510 UAP sightings in 2022, higher than the 366 seen in 2021, uh, of these, 171 were considered to appear to, uh, to have demonstrated unusual flight characteristics or performance capabilities and require further analysis. Now, you know what's funny, though? They tell you this, but we've already reverse engineered a lot of these different crafts that we have found. 
you know, this is part of the disclosure program. And uh, this is something the government has been planning on doing little by little, revealing this information to you so that in 2026, when these alien entities appear and become part of your daily public life, you won't be so alarmed at their existence and their presence there. So get ready. It's coming. And uh, I just wanted to kind of share some of that information with you guys here. And I will certainly be uh, now, uh, by the way, I've been going through a, a, a withdrawal of what they call prednisone. Prednisone is uh, a medication that is used to deal with in, uh, inflammation in the body. My doctor put me on it a couple of years ago because I blew three discs, two of those severe, in uh, my spinal, lower spinal cord there. Uh, which caused me to lose the feeling in my left leg. And as a result of that, uh, I finally decided, look, i got to get off of this stuff. I've had enough, and I'm not taking it any longer. Well, at first, I thought I had the flu. I did not know that coming off of prednisone, which I didn't do it cold turkey, but coming off of prednisone causes enormous problems. And it, normally, they say will last a couple of months. Uh, and that includes flu-like symptoms, fevers, uh, breaking out in sweats, all of which I was having. I literally thought I was, had gotten very sick, nausea, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, I'm going to beat it one way or the other. So uh, just keep me in your prayers and because I have a lot of information I want to share with you. And uh, we are really getting ready to go down the biblical slash intelligent world there to share with you things that that I know about and also because I have friends in all different uh, backgrounds of the intelligent world there that I want to be able to glean from their knowledge and share those things with you. God bless you. Stephen Bernoon here with Israeli News Live.